morning guys and welcome to today's video today is monday october september Why the 30th do I, I don't know there's something wrong maybe you are sick or something i don't no, know I'm not. could be could be the lighting but anyway no, i look okay so that's all that's important no oh because there's red leaves outside of me and then there's oh, a window oh they're reflecting on you yeah gabby is the red leaf yeah gabby is a red leaf today okay so before we start today's video i want to explain why we are all wearing orange shirts today no. Wait, we're all wearing orange? That's pink. This is orange. This That's is pink orange. orange. Where's your orange shirt? I'm not wearing orange. So, you guys. I'm wearing all black. We should be all wearing orange shirts today. Support of all of the kids who went to residential school. So, do you guys know what that means? No. The government made a choice way back when to take all the Inuit and Indian and First Nation people <laughs> out of their homes, their kids. They thought that, 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 First Nation people had a horrible lifestyle and they wanted to socialize them to um, to the way that the white man was living. So they decided that the best way to do that was to start with the kids. So they went into all the First Nation homes, or a lot of them, and they took out all the small young children and they put them in residential schools. These schools were run by the church and lots of kids were abused and mistreated and lots of kids lost their lives in residential schools. It was a horrible thing and the government actually did come back later on and say in 2008, the year after you were born, the government actually did say, you know, we made a big mistake doing this. Like that was the worst thing we ever did. We took all these children and mistreated them and abused them and took them out of their homes and you know what else they did when these kids actually did go home again they didn't know any of their customs they didn't know how to speak their language they only could speak english and they didn't fit at home they didn't fit out in the world and there's still a lot of residual issues in the world because of this decision so today is the day that everybody wears orange shirts in solidarity and show um support for all the people that survived residential schools and the fact of, and to support the fact that we are all equal and all the same under one god and i totally believe that and i hope you guys believe that too Yesterday, when we pulled out of the driveway, I looked in my rearview mirror and I saw Storm and Finn standing in the field eating their grass and I was filled with so much amazing love and I was so overwhelmed with the fact that we own horses. We own five horses, five amazing, incredible, beautiful horses and we have them at home. and. The difference between having them at home and having them boarded someplace is so astronomically different. I can't even describe it to you guys, but I was feeling so incredible. And I took, stopped and took a minute when I was pulling out of the driveway and said to the girl, that is such a beautiful thing that we have horses in our yard. It's amazing. It is the season, the season to go Christmas shopping. We were at the store Christmas shopping for our kids just joking. <laughs> not even say that to me yet. I don't even have a Christmas wish list made yet. We actually need all of our pet food. I should do a video about all, like feeding all of our pets. One thing that you guys should know is that Hendrix is going to be leaving us soon. He's going to go back and live with his owner, Fiona, uh, probably before the end of October. So yeah, he is going and I'm okay with that because I do not want an outdoor hat cat in winter. wondering what else we bought Sam for for his birthday besides just a day out in Toronto we got him this mammoth polar fleece blanket by East Hills Outdoors and the reason that we got him this is because because she doesn't like my other blanket 
but this is also waterproof. Yeah, this blanket is so super warm. It's got this waterproof coating. I can wear it outside. And this really soft fleece liner. And you could use it as a blanket or a picnic blanket put on the ground so you won't get it all wet. Yeah, like you know when you put your blanket down on the ground and you go places and then the other side gets wet? Well, this is not like this um, waterproof side that you can put down and your blanket doesn't get wet. Yeah, and it's, it feels like it's weighted so it's... Yeah, it's a nice heavy blanket, laid still when you want to use it as a blanket, as a picnic blanket. But what are we going to use it for? What are you going to use it I'm for, Sam? I'm going to use it to keep me warm. When? Well, today at lessons. The reason I got it for him is because you guys don't get to see a lot of this part in the behind the scenes when nice Sam is sitting in the stands watching the girls all through winter have their riding lessons. It gets so cold, and this blanket is the perfect size. It's amazing and I'm excited for him to use it. He needed a blanket. He wanted a blanket. Small enough and easy enough that he can travel with it to lessons. And yeah, that's what we got him. I love it. Also has a pocket so I can put my phone in there. Yeah, money, so cool. You know what's even better than Sam's East Hills Outdoor Mammoth Polar Fleece Waterproof Blanket? is that we got one for you guys too. So when we have our 100,000 giveaway, which is coming soon, one of you guys is gonna get an East Hills Outdoor Mammoth Blanket. I also like that it comes with a stuff sack so that you can stuff it in that sack and keep it in the car. So we always have it with us. Oh yeah, it's warm after a while. Yeah, it because of the polar fleece. It also has a reflective heat thing inside this. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Keeps the heat in. So do you like it? Love it. Today we are hauling out for riding lessons and I am excited because I'm going to get to ride. Unfortunately though, riding means packing up and packing up is horrible. If you guys are just tuning into our channel now, then you may not know, but we have a show in a week. And this girl is not showing. You're not showing, Stel. That's okay. It's all right. Oh my goodness, wherever you find a black and white paint, painted a beautiful horse, you just need to look down and you will find her little mini. You are still this little mini, aren't you? And then you will find our tag along girl who is Gracie, our gift from God. And our outcast because of these mean girls. Cutest girl on earth. I literally love this little horse though, honestly, so much. She's nine years old and so fun. She's like, made with me. Yeah, she's amazing. But when's your birthday? October 20th. Uh, Sophie, you've been doing so good with the dirty face. All right, so you guys remember? I have a tall boots. But I also just got new half chaps and I like those too. Do you guys think I should save the boots for the show and ride in half chaps? Do you think that's the best idea? Yeah, you don't run that many shows, so... I should wear my boots? If they're going to last you forever, but you're going to get another pair, right? Yeah, so, all right, done. I'll ride in my boots. All right, let's pack it up, sister. Oh, look at Ruby! Ruby in her nice, warm, fuzzy coat. Just because I threw it on your lap. You guys might not notice, but we are sporting coats today. Sam's got a jacket. Gabby's got a jacket. Sophie's got a jacket. I got purse. Get your gloves, Gabby. If you guys are long-term viewers, some of you guys were noticing that Gabby would never, ever, ever give up on her, her firefly coat that she's had for the last two years. It bit the biscuit this year. I took it out of the basement and washed it and got it ready for her because she loves that coat so much and the zipper's broken. So yeah, it's gone. It's gone forever. And I'm so grateful to say goodbye to that coat because she wears it every single year. It drives me crazy. I say bring on the new and the fresh. Remember a few vlogs ago, like maybe 20 vlogs ago, I showed you guys this bag that we bought at a yard sale. I am still so in love with it. And I'm going to show you why. Because you can literally put everything you need in it. And then, and then grab it and it just folds up and compresses like this. But then when it opens, you have like so much room. I love this bag. You are riding Storm because you need to practice for the show. You are riding 
Finn. I need to practice for the show too. Yeah, no, I don't know. Anything. We'll figure it all out, but we do need to practice on Finn a little bit more. And I am going to be riding probably Polly. Polly, but, but my dream would be to ride the new horse, which is named Denver. Denver, and he's a Palomino. Oh no, he's so probably this is what Fiona said. This is what Fiona said. So he's very lazy until you go to jump. Well, I won't not be going to any jump, so that's perfect for me. And uh, and um, hope had to slow him down. A lot. Oh yeah? To the jumps? Did. Nope. Oh, well then that He's is not the... very forward. Well then that is not the horse I want to ride. He looks lazy when you're trotting. My dream today forward. is to ride a Miss Polly. I'm fine with Polly. The only part I don't want to like about Polly is having to walk out into the field and get her. And then clean it's it not her not bad hooves. now. Yeah, but her hooves are like 15,000 pounds. Oh, Joy had hooves. I cleaned Denver's. Denver actually lifts up his back feet and holds them for you. Yeah, so does Stella and so does no. Storm. Not like him? Storm, no. So Stella's you guys... better at her back feet than Storm. Goodness, you got the mud on you again. Oh, goodness sake. All right, these are the rules stand at attention and listen to me. No bucking anybody off, no being injured or sore or any of that stuff. Do your best behavior, do your best jumping, be kind, love everybody, just be yourself. Okay. Meet Lily. This is Lily, you guys. Hi, Lily. You're so pretty. She's like, who are you? Such a gorgeous girl. How tall is Lily, Brandon? Oh, same. Same time. Same as. Same as Storm. Storm seems bigger. Yeah, you be chubby. You lost your girlish figure in the field. Gabby loves Lily. 
Gabby loves to ride you, Lily. She's like, I know my name. People say that horses do not know their name. She knows her name, Lily. Right, Lily? So who thinks we should buy Lily if she goes for sale? Would you buy Lily? Let's do a, a montage video of Lily. Look, she's got like a shamrock. Good luck horse on her. Mm -hmm. You love her? Yeah, she's just chubby and could use some muscle. Storm. Uh, literally, I think the horse has been eating too much grass. They, have, they, he, he seems like he, yeah, him and Finn both too really tight. Like they've been eating too much grass. When you're at the barn watching lessons and you start getting cold, just flank it. Ooh, I'm getting warm now. This blanket is cozy. It's getting colder out now. Sun has gone down. It's close to six o'clock. And it's getting cold. I look over and I see this. Sam <laughs> standing there like he's one of the wise men. <laughs> this time Finn was sore and Storm was amazing. Day, you guys, I cantered a Polly, big, huge horse, and I, I, I she did has a slow canter. I did procrastinate a little. Uh, I didn't like have to oh, work yeah. up to it, but I did it, and then I did it again, and it was super fun, so fun. I love cantering, but the, on the right, like on the on the right rein, the one that she does better, she was like faster, and I couldn't, I couldn't sit. Like I felt more nervous on that rein, so I didn't do it as long. But it was fun, so fun. If you get a chance to canter and you've never done it before, it's seriously the most fun. Yeah, so now I'm gonna be working on cantering again. Amazing, it was an amazing, amazing lesson. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.